This is the fourth of our learning designs, what we're terming a conceptual learning designs. And the conceptual learning design is actually subdivided into a number of substrands. And the one we're going to focus on today is the predict, observe, and evaluate strand. And this can be used in a wide variety of different contexts. Typically, the model has been appropriated from good science teaching, whereby students are encouraged to try to predict what might happen in a particular instance, or for example, an experiment, rather than being shown. So typically the process is to encourage students to actually make a prediction or hypothesis about what they think might happen, then to actually look at the facts, in the case of a science experiment, to actually watch the experiment itself, and then finally and most crucially, to evaluate the outcome and to reflect back on their original prediction, even if they're incorrect, to try to ascertain as to why they were incorrect, and in doing so, to get a better understanding of the underlying features and concepts beneath the actual event. Now typically this stands in contrast to a more presentational model whereby students are actually shown or told what will happen and the same is often true with the use of video. Very often video is used in what we've been termed or are termed in a presentational mode. Students are often left to watch a video rather passively and much of the opportunity for higher order thinking and challenge is wasted and missed. So if we transfer this example to the use of the Newsfilm Archive, what we've got here are a series of clips that were created from a number of short Newsfilm items, some of the earliest Newsfilm footage in fact taken from before the 1930s, all around early prototype helicopter design we've got six clips and we've deliberately taken out any evidence of whether or not these prototypes would fly. This one's a little bit misleading because it's a test where a balloon was attached but once the balloon is removed then you get a better idea of whether or not this was a viable flight device. And the idea would be to encourage the students to make predictions about which of these six designs they think is most likely to fly and on what basis they think um, flight would be viable. There is plenty of evidence if you study these clips carefully for the students to make that prediction. They would then watch the entire clips which are available from the archive and we've linked them on this associated page so that you can look at them if you wish. And On the basis of the actual observation they'd be able to determine whether their original prediction was correct if so, why, and if not, uh, why they were incorrect. And this is a very powerful learning design which can be applied to many different contexts. Here, for example, we've got a piece of footage, stock footage of a, a block of flats being demolished. Uh, now, in actual fact, this isn't from the archive itself, but it illustrates the same point. And again, it could be used simply to show students how to demolish a block of flats, for instance, in an engineering course. But more interestingly and more challengingly, students could be asked to predict, perhaps in groups, how they would actually blow this block of flats up in order to minimise collateral damage to other buildings around it. And they could then watch it and evaluate whether their solution was correct. And the great beauty, of course, of digital video is it can be stopped, it can be frozen, and it can be moved forwards one frame at a time to give that kind of clarity. So that's the predict, observe and evaluate learning design.